Meet the world's first cycling marine biologist. <laughs> Time for this week's Head to Head. And today I feel the need, the need for Lycra. As we pit against each other two of the toughest, most nipple chafing activities out there. That's right, it's cycling versus running. Round one, and here's a cyclist leading by so much, he's found time to recreate E.T. <laughs> Phone home and call an ambulance while you're there. But on the plus side, he did win the long jump. <laughs> it can be hard to find time for a run if you've got kids. Oh, but that's going. Well, that's not going to be a problem for this guy now. And to stop him getting too testy, we're going to award running the point for being most ridiculous. Oh! Round two. The thing about running is that it's just about getting out there and pounding the pavement. <laughs> just not with your face. I blame the shoes. This cyclist may not win the yellow jersey, but he's got the next best thing. No, no! A black eye. His Tour de France dreams are shattered. Oh, no! No, no! But so are her kneecaps, so I'm giving the points to running again. <laughs> Round three. And hurdles are a lot like life when you come up against a problem. Just close your eyes and run through it. Probably cry a bit afterwards, too. OK, let's see another cyclist. He looks like he knows what he's doing. Don't work hard, work smart. <laughs> or maybe just don't work at all. All those books and he's never read any of them. Points go to the cyclist. <laughs> Round four, and here we are at the inaugural Drunken Hen Party 4x100. <laughs> and here comes the bride-to-be, punching the air, because she's not come last. That's the spirit, girls. And the winner, Chardonnay. Now time for some cycling Jenga. <laughs> Ever been in an accident that wasn't your fault? That guy hasn't. Points go to cycling for causing maximum damage. <laughs> Round five, and it's neck and neck brace to the finish line. These guys are running down Mount Fuji in Japan which sounds fun until you start to smell the lava. <laughs> She's also broken the record for most volcanic ash eaten in one second, so well done. Meet the world's first cycling marine biologist. <laughs> yup, just as I thought, it's a very large muddy puddle. Case closed. He doesn't believe in brakes, but his body does. Leg brakes, arm brakes, neck brakes, the works, really. <laughs> and with 1,500 litres of muddy water coursing through his veins, I can declare cycling the winner. Congrats, stripping in mud bike guy.